Hi hey guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter two, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So for these, it's not actually asking you to complete the problem as it is. It's asking you to estimate and to give them an estimate, okay? So if you look at this, 15 and 3 eighths, okay? Let me zoom in a little bit for y'all. Maybe a little bit more. There we go, okay. All right, so three eighths. If you'll notice that three is less than half of eight, which means that we're gonna round that to 15. Okay, now if we go over to one half, one half, if it were a decimal, would be 0.5. Well, that's bigger than five or five or bigger. So we're gonna round that to one. Okay, pretty easy. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. Okay, we know it's gonna be divided in between. Okay, so 22 and one fifth. One fifth is definitely less than half of five. So it's gonna to go to 22, okay? Five six is way more than half of six. And so the one is gonna round up to a two. There you go, okay? Okay, all right, so we're gonna go down and you guys are gonna go ahead and do four through 12. Okay, you guys totally can, I believe in you. Okay, we're gonna estimate the number of pieces in number 13 that Sharon will have if she divides 15 and one third yards of fabric into four and four fifths. So 15 and one third, well one is less than half of three, so that's gonna round to 15, okay? She's dividing that into four and four fifths. Well, four fifths is more than half of five, okay? So that four over here is gonna round up to five, okay? So three pieces, okay? That's just an estimate, okay? Estimate the number of half quart containers Ethan can fill from a container Okay, it is eight and seven eighths. Well, eight and seven eighths is what we're starting with. Okay, seven is more than the four eighths. That would be half of eight, seven eighths. So that's gonna make that round up to nine. Okay, one half again rounds up to one. So nine. Uh, nine. Half quart container. All right. So, lesson check on the back. You guys can totally do that. We are going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay. So, the spiral review says a recipe calls for three quarters teaspoon of red pepper. Yuri wants to use a third of that amount. How much red pepper should he use? So, says three quarter teaspoon and a third of, see that of? We're gonna start with our three quarters. And of that, we're going to use a third, okay? So I like when we have same numbers because we cross them out and put a one. One fourth teaspoon, okay? The recipe calls for two and two thirds cups of apple slices. Zoe wants to use one and a half times this amount. How many cups of apple should Zoe use? So I'm going to write down our two and two thirds, and she wants to use one and a half times of that amount. Okay, so I'm gonna do dead man and turn these into improper fractions. We call it dead man because it looks like a dead man when we do that. You turn it sideways. Okay, so three times two is six plus two more is eight. And I'm gonna keep my denominator so it's eight over three. Okay, still have of, that doesn't change. Two times one is two plus one more is three. Keep my denominator, that doesn't change. Okay, so now I have two improper fractions, that's perfect, okay? Love having the same number, gonna cancel them. Also, 
2 goes into 8. So 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 8 four times. So now, if I multiply straight across, I get 4 over 1, which means 4 cups. There we go. Okay, 4 over 1 is just equal to 4, so 4. All right. Edgar has 2.8 meters of rope. See, if he cut this rope into seven equal parts, how long will each piece be? So we have 2.8, and we are cutting that into seven equal parts. So we are dividing, okay? Do not forget to put your decimal up first thing, okay? Now, seven's not going to go into two, but seven times four is 28, okay? So each piece will be 0.4, and it's being measured in meters. Okay, 0.4 meter. Tammy has seven liters of water to fill water bottles that each hold 2.8 liters. How many bottles can she fill? So, seven into 2.8. Bring that decimal straight up. Okay, all right. Seven is not going to go into two, but just like over here, Oh, you know what? Miss Wade did this backwards. Boom. Yep, I sure did. Okay, so now, currently you'll see that the 7 is by itself. However, we have to move the 2.8 over. Well, we're going to do this on a separate piece of paper just so we've got some room. Okay, so 7, 2.8, okay? You can't have a decimal out here when you're dividing. So if I move that over one, then I have 28. And that decimal would have been right there, but I need to move it over one as well, which means I need to put a zero there. Okay, I also need to move my decimal. Okay, so over on the side, I'm going to write down my multiples of 28 because I do not know those off the top of my head. So I do know. 28, and I know that my next one will be 56, 4, all right, so let's see what we can do here, okay? All right, so 28 cannot go into 7, I'm going to put a placeholder, 28 into 70, it looks like the closest I'm going to get is 56, so that's 2 times, 56, okay, 0 cannot take away 6, I need to borrow, I wind up with 14, okay? So now, 14 is less than 28. I'm going to go ahead and add a zero and bring it down. Now, I know that 3 times 28 is 84, but I can go way higher than that. So I'm going to try 28 times 4, which is 112, and 28 times 5, which is 140. Look at that. Okay. So, 5. 5 times 28 would be 140, subtract, get 0. So 2.5. Okay, make sure that you come back and write down your work. Okay, even if you have to do it on another piece of paper, make sure that you come back. So she can fill 2.5 bottles. Okay, see, sometimes those word problems trip me up too, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. For 2.6, come on back for 2.7. See you soon.